Hey guys, in this video I want to test how much more power we can get from solar panels if we're going to clean them. Right here I have four and uh, six solar panels. It was installed about three years back and uh, I was never cleaning them. This is in-phase system with microinverters so we can monitor per panel production and uh, in this video I'm going to clean them up and we'll watch them a few days to see how much extra production we're gonna get. Now I'm just going to wait a few days to collect the data and we will see the results. And here are the results from in-phase application. On the left side we have two screenshots April 27-28 before panels were cleaned up. On the right side two screenshots May 1st, May 3rd after panels were cleaned up. We can see that all of those four days have ideal graphs that means we didn't have any clouds which might make results not accurate. Then on this screenshot, we can see production per panel. I'm going to zoom this. So if, if you want to do your own calculations, you, you can do it. So two before days and uh, two days after. And now we can calculate how much extra production we're getting from day to day. So let's compare, for example, this day uh, before uh, April 28, because we have lowest production 27.66. And I'm going to compare with May 3rd because we got most of the production, 27.88 kilowatt hours. I want to make results more favorable to clean up panels. So we'll see where it goes. So on the day before, we got 217 kilowatt hours from this panel. And on the day after, we got uh, 223. So if we, if we do calculation, 23 kilowatt hours divided by 217, so we got 2.7%, 2.8% increase in the production. Now let's take this panel, uh, 229 kilowatt hours, and we got 235 kilowatt hours. So if we do 235 kilowatt hours divided by 229, so we got 2.6%. Okay, let's take another panel. Let's take, for example, 227, 234. 234 divided by 227. So we, we're, we're getting about 3% increase in the production. Now I'm going to do calculation uh, how much extra energy we're gonna get from array if we're going to clean this up and if it makes financial sense to, to pay for cleaning the panels. Of course, if you clean panels yourself, this is no brainer, clean up panels, you're gonna get 3% extra production. However, I want to calculate if, uh, if it makes sense to pay someone and uh, if we're gonna get this money back. So I'm going to take as example array with uh, 10 panels, 305 watts each panel. And uh, feel free to take any size of array on any, any size of the solar panels. Uh, we're gonna get 3.5 kilowatts solar array. Uh, to calculate how much energy this array will produce in one year, uh, in my local area where I am located, the coefficient is about 1.7. So we're gonna get 5,950 kilowatt hours a year. We know that we're gonna get extra 3% uh, of production. So if we multiply 5,950 kilowatt hours, multiply by 3%, we're gonna get 179 kilowatt hours a year of extra production. Now in my area, uh, labor is pretty expensive, so I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but my assumption is it's gonna cost $250 to clean up 10 panels. And the uh, electricity in my area also pretty expensive. We have 45 cents per kilowatt hour, and we're gonna get 555 kilowatt hours. Now, if we want to calculate how much time it's gonna take to recap this money, we need to take 255 kilowatt hours divided by 179 kilowatt hours, and uh, we're gonna get 3.1 years to recap this energy. So in my opinion, it doesn't make sense at all to pay someone to clean up panels. And of course, we're talking about situation when panels just slightly shaded. If panels located under, under the trees and trees constantly dropping something and something is growing on the panels, 
then you're not gonna get 3% increase in production. Probably it's gonna be like maybe 50% increase of production. So of course we need to clean up those panels. But from my experience, 95% of solar arrays installed uh, in the unshaded area, south located, so we're getting a lot of sun, which is killing any live organism that is trying to grow on the panels. Uh, I'm really curious to hear if you agree or disagree with my calculation. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.